Hi guys, this is uh, my, my design for a new remix set, um, a template you can download off, off my blog site. And what we have is four pages. Um, the first two pages are split into obviously four columns of sounds that work together, so patterns that work together in a row. So obviously the top four patterns. <laughs> sequences work together. Uh, obviously I'll, I'll go through a few of them and you can see how they work together all the way down. So the next, the next line. different pattern. It's page one. We've got page two. A little bit more deeper change. Less drums. Drop that. And up again. I know there's no drums there, but I can still use the three in that row with the drums. This drum call. first two pages are patterns that work together in a row as they go down. Um, the first column, the red, is for drums. The second column is for bass line. So there's different bass line patterns as we go down through two pages. Um, the third one is sort of a synth um, line or, or pad line. Again, different patterns as they go down, but always keeping in line with the rows. And the last one is my lead sound. Um, as we know, all rows, all patterns in a row will work together. Um, you can obviously mix and match, but you have to be aware that some patterns won't work with other patterns as you go through. Now the third page is where it gets creative. You can create automation effects in the machine already rendered on a clip or a loop, um, for instance. Let me hear that distortion. This is the actual drum channel. You see some automation. Already pre-rendered on the actual loop. So you're not touching tractors effects. This is all happening uh, on the rendered audio clip. And obviously again, as it goes down. Totally change with effect. Bit of LFO on the filter there. On the drums, creating a sort of gate effect. Bit of distortion on the bass line now, which obviously you could add the full drums in off the first page if you wanted to to give it a bit of a different taste. A little bit more distortion on the, the bass line there. And obviously a bit of reverb and things on the actual other ones. And then what we have. On the fourth and final page, uh, you'll notice they're all red. Um, this one at the moment um, is actually one hit stabs of my, my lead line. Um, this allows me to, if I'm playing a track and I want to start bringing in my own sort of melody from the, the remix set which I've created, I can play it myself. And I can just jam over the top of a track giving me a bit more of a performance, I guess. Um, and then flick back to the pages and bring something in. And then away again. So yeah, that's a simple design. And like I say, you can uh, download this off my website, uh, create your own remix sets, and if you like, and you want to sell them, uh, pop me an email, uh, info at warpedbridge.co.uk or download the pack uh, from www.steven-james.com.